everyone, this is Miss Gabby. Welcome to Family Storytime. Today we're going to be reading Olive, the Other Reindeer by J. Otto Sable and Vivian Walsh. Huh, Olive the Other Reindeer? Isn't Olive a dog? She's not a reindeer. I wonder what's going on with that. I guess we'll see. Let's get started. Every day, Olive took her daily dog walk, winter, spring, summer, or fall. Today was a winter's day. It was the holidays. There was music playing outdoors. People were singing along. All of the other reindeer, Olive was too shy to sing. <laughs> she hummed. What song are they singing? It sounds like they're singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's funny. And look, there's Olive walking on the streets, listening to other people singing. Oh, it's too bad she's so shy. She's so shy that she can't sing along with them. Back at her doghouse, Olive was wrapping presents and listening to the radio. She heard that same song again. All of the other reindeer went the song. Olive the other reindeer, Olive sang along. Olive the reindeer, said Olive. I thought it was a dog. So did we, Olive. Hmm, I must be a reindeer. It was the time of year when all reindeer reported to the North Pole to help Santa Claus. Olive put down her scissors and carefully marched out the door. Olive the other reindeer, what is Olive going to do? <gasps> Could she be going to the North Pole? Oh, but she's not a reindeer. What's going to happen? She took one bus and then two buses. Wow, the first one says just the bus and then the second one says Polar Express. That's funny. And there are penguins and there's snow everywhere. She's going to the North Pole. Wow, Olive's at the North Pole. And look, there's Santa, there are the elves, and there are the other reindeer. She got there just in time. Oh, Santa was checking his list for the second time, as Santa tends to do. Elves were busy helping the reindeer and loading the sleigh with presents for all of the good girls and boys. Everyone was getting ready to go. Wow. Wonder what Olive's going to do. Is she going to help the reindeer? Is she just going to stand there? Is she going to help Santa? Hmm. Olive took her place. Oh, but she's so small. Santa noticed that there was a little dog in the lineup. Santa knew a lot about dogs. For instance, they can't fly. But as it was time to go, he decided to give Olive a chance. Comet, the biggest reindeer, used a piece of extra ribbon to make sure Olive was tied in safe and tight. Now they were ready to go. Wow, it looks like they're going to be headed up into the sky. Olive was surprised it was so easy to fly. Wow, and how is she flying? She's suspended in midair because she's tied to a ribbon that's tied to the other reindeer. Look at her fly. The other reindeer were very curious about the new helper. They looked at Olive so much they weren't watching where they were going. Uh-oh, what's going on with the other reindeer? It looks like they're distracted by Olive, and if they're, so, if they're distracted, they're not looking where they're going. Crash! They flew smack into the top of a too tall tree. Oh dear, said Santa, my sleigh is stuck in this tree. I have to cut it free. Olive clung to the side of the tree. She tried to help, she tried to fly up to help Santa, but she could not. She climbed up slowly and started chewing. Chewing sticks was something Olive could do well. Thank you, Olive, said Santa Claus as they got back on their way. Wow, good thing Olive was able to think on her feet and 
she chewed their way out from off the tree. Good for Olive. They had not traveled far when Olive's nose began to twitch. Uh-oh. Olive smelled trouble. It was the smell of gumdrop candies as they fell from the sleigh. Drop, drop, drop. Olive barked and Santa knew what to do. He steered the reindeer down and around so that all of the gumdrops fell. Plop, 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 back into the toy sack. Wow, so Olive was able to hear and smell, or smell the gumdrops, and she was able to warn Santa. What a great reindeer. We were very lucky not to lose a single gumdrop, thought Olive. Then she heard a strange sound. It was the musical note. Eee! She spun around on her string to see the night sky filled with falling flutes. Olive had to howl louder than the wind instruments. This was not music to Santa's ears. First gumdrops, now flutes, thought Santa. That tree must have torn a hole in my sled. Prepare for an emergency landing, Santa instructed. Oh no, they're having such bad luck. Wow, look at all those flutes in the snow. And look, oh poor rabbit. She lives under the snow and it looks like the flute is shooting through the wall of her home. Oh, and I bet that woke her up because she's in bed. The sleigh landed in a snowy field full of flutes. Luckily, Olive was very good at fetching sticks. It is something dogs love to do. Wow, dogs are very good at fetching sticks, which means she's going to be able to fetch all of the flutes. Before Santa had finished patching the hole in the sleigh, Olive had returned each and every flute back to the sack. Ho, 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 said Santa. We're ready to go. Oh, good. I hope they're not too late. They were running late. Oh. But after a while, all the good children received their presents and Santa and his team headed home. Well, that's good. I'm glad all of the kids got their presents and now Santa and all the reindeer can go home to the North Pole. They were almost home when they got caught in the dreaded North Pole fog. The reindeer slowed down until it was only the breeze that moved them along. The fog was as thick as a pillow and made everyone feel sleepy. Then Santa remembered something about dogs. They were excellent smellers. Olive, I'd hate to be late for breakfast this year, he said. Mrs. Claus has planned a parade of cookies. Mmm, can you almost smell them, can't you? Olive could smell the cookies. Olive, won't you guide my sleigh this morning, asked Santa. Olive moved to the front of the reindeer. Wow, Olive is going to use her sense of smell to get Santa and the other reindeer to the North Pole so they can have Mrs. Claus's parade of cookies. Thanks to Olive's nose and Mrs. Claus's baking, they made it all the way to the North Pole. All of the elves sang out a cheer. Hooray, hooray, Santa and the reindeer and the little doggy are back. Wow, oh good, they made it through the fog. Wow, it was really thick and they're back at the North Pole. Back at the North Pole, it was a glorious morning. After eating lots of good food, it was time to open presents. The reindeer got jump ropes and the elves got toy trains. Santa reached into his toy sack. There was just one present left. It was for Olive. It was her very own set of reindeer antlers. They fit perfectly. Then everyone went outside to play reindeer games. The end. Aww. Olive is hanging out with the other reindeer and now she has her very own set of reindeer antlers. Wow, that's great. She gets to join in the reindeer family. Well, that's the end of our story. Make sure to look at the questions and the activities that we've published along with this video. Until next time, bye.